So, I got this piece of wood. Now, I've carved a decent bit of wood, but I think I'm going to turn this one into a fishing lure. My buddy Fritz, his dad, he makes these bird decoys for hunting out of wood, and that's what he's made his money his whole life for. But I never really was into like making something with a purpose. I wanted to do it for art. But I was thinking with a fishing lure, you got a bit more freedom to make whatever you want. So I'm going to try to carve this guy into shape, set some weights in him, put some hooks in him, and see what we can make. So now that we got it all sanded, I gotta drill holes to attach the hooks in and to attach the line to. So I'm thinking I'm gonna need to be able to put a hole big enough for these weights in there because I think I need to weight the wood because wood floats. So we got the hole drilled for the line, and I think I'm gonna put the weight in here like this, kind of like an eyeball, and another one here for, I don't know what that's gonna be, but I think that's how I'm gonna weight it, drill it through the side and put these in there. So we got them drilled out another step. And I broke it. We got the piece of wood we're going to turn into a fishing lure. Nice piece of pine. Carve them up. So I'm going to knock off the sides of this thing with a hammer and chisel. Now we got our skinny piece, ready to get turned into a fishing lure. So now that we got the side shaved off, we're going to drill the holes now, hopefully to prevent it breaking. Got our first two holes. Got it another size up. Extra steps with the drill to prevent cracking. Okay, now it's to size. There we go. Version two, let's get some holes drilled. Now 
Now I got this wire and I'm going to make some eye hooks with it. So I got it cut. This eye hole will go in the top. And for these ones, we got to connect the hook inside the eye. So before we get it twisted up, put the hook on, then get it twisted up. And then once you get it twisted, it'll fit in like that. And we'll put some epoxy in there to make it stay. And repeat that for the next hook. So now that we have all the pieces, once we put them together, they're going to fit together like this. So we just got to get it epoxied shut. When I make stuff out of wood, I normally like to keep the natural wood grain, but I don't know how much a fish is going to want to bite natural wood grain. So I'm thinking I'm going to give this guy the classic red-headed white body style. So we're going to paint this guy's head red. That's it. So the first thing we're going to put in is the weights because I think if I put the hooks in first I'm going to stab myself. So I notice I got epoxy in the bottom hole so I got to put that hook in now. Okay, well, there he is, he's in there. Now I'm going to coat this whole side in epoxy. So I got the one side coated in epoxy, I'm gonna let this set, then I'll do the other side. So I got the one side covered in epoxy. So now I gotta cover the other side in epoxy. So now we have this side covered in resin too, and we're going to let that dry. So both sides are dry now. And here's my fishing lure that we made. That side turned out a little less perfect than this side, but that's okay. Now it's time to test if he floats, so I'm going to put him in here. He definitely sinks, so that's alright. Now let's tie him on a string and see how he does like that. So while swimming, he has all right swimming posture. Wiggles back and forth a little bit. Decent action. So we got this guy carved out.
now we're getting this guy painted up. So now we gotta dip this guy in some polyurethane and then he'll be on his way to being done. Now we're gonna hang them up, let them dry. Here's our little bluegill bait. It's getting all dry. And then after the polyurethane dries, We'll get the hook set in that little hole with some more two-part epoxy, and he'll be done. He's going to let off a few more drips. That's why we got him hanging out here. And there we go. Now that the polyurethane's dried on this guy, we're going to set the hook in him with some of that two-part epoxy. got some two-part epoxy we're gonna coat the side of the hook coat the side of the hook in the two-part epoxy it's coated then we'll slide it in there And now we'll wipe off the excess. And there's our fishing lure. There he is. So here's the bluegill lure. Got his nice little paint job on there. And here's our original lore. There's the ugly side of him. <laughs>